the students. Anyway, let us start uh, today, inshallah. Uh, we will discuss a new type of differential equation, the first order differential equation. In a previous class, it was to just to make a revision. In a previous class, we studied that the differential equation written in the form dy by dx is equal a function f of x times another function g of x is called c parable and the solution for such kind of differential equation is that to separate dx with f of x in one side and g of y with dy in one side and to do the integral that's the separable differential equation today we'll, we will learn inshallah a new type of differential equation called linear linear differential equation and Uh, this is here not separable definition of linear. Sorry, this is a type. Uh, we will see uh, what's the shape or the form of linear to be called linear and how we can solve the linear and what's the standard solution for the linear equation. Have a look. A first order differential equation in the form a1 of x dy by dx plus a0 of xy times gx is said to be linear differential equation with dependent variable y with dependent variable y here it means this is the only y and this is the only y but everything else this is should be either a constant or a function of x a constant or a function of x and this is a function of x which is the same variable of dx here so the standard form of this differential equation can be rewritten as an in standard form. If we divide this differential equation by a1 of x, that becomes dy by dx plus a naught x divided by a1 of x times y is equal gx divided by a1 of x which is can be written as dy by dx plus a function with respect px times y is equal another function f of x but you will notice that g gx divided by a1 of x this is the f of x and a naught divided by a1 also this is the function px this is the standard form of differential equation or this is can be written as y prime plus px py is equal f of x all right let us to see is it the following uh, linear or nonlinear to determine whether the following differential equation linear or nonlinear. First of all, this is equal sine x times dy r dx plus cosine phi y is equal x square. So the only y is this one and this one. So this is, and everything else with respect to x, so it is linear. But this one can, can be written in this standard form. It becomes y prime plus cosine divided by sine it is what cosine divided by cosine uh, it is cotan times y is equal x square because when you divide both sides by x square the x square by divide by x square so this is linear the first one right the second one y for dy r dx plus cosine x y is equal x square y here you should you see that there is y here y here and y i mean the coefficient multiplied by dy r dx it is with respect to y but to be linear it should be with respect to what it should be with respect x so this is non-linear 
differential equation. This is non-linear differential equation. Type dy by dx is equal y by x plus 2x. This is, can be written as dy by dx minus 1 by x times y is equal to x plus 1, which is linear. The only y is written here and here. Hala t square plus 1 y prime is equal y t plus y, minus y. This is, if you rewrite this equation, becomes t square plus 1 times y prime to be equal y times t minus 1. And take y minus t plus 1 to the other side. So that becomes y prime, sorry, t squared plus 1 times y prime minus y times t minus 1 is equal 0. When you divide both sides by t squared plus 1 becomes y prime minus t minus 1 divided by t square plus 1 times y is equal so so this one is linear differential equation linear differential equation and in case dy by dx plus pxy is equal to 0 this is called the homogeneous linear differential homogeneous because the right hand side is 0 the right hand side is zero that's why it is called homogeneous type and let us to see how we can solve the non-homogeneous linear differential equation in non-homogeneous linear differential equation it, it is solution very simple i will explain it for you in details i mean as a general proof then i will give you exactly the uh, short procedure to solve it. Short procedure to solve it. First of all, when you are looking to solve y prime plus px times y is equal to the function f of x. Five. In n, in n. Let us to multiply both sides by something called mu. Mu of x times y prime plus mu x times p x p y is equal to mu x times a function f of x. Type. Lm. <coughs> A mu times px, let us to assume it mu prime. I mean, that becomes mu x, phi y prime, plus mu prime times y is equal to mu x times f of x. Therefore, you will see that this one here, it is written as d. This one here, it's written as d by dx of mu x times y of x, which is equal to mu x times f of x. And multiply both sides or integrate both sides becomes mu x times y of x is equal integral to mu x times f of x with respect dx plus a constant c. Divide both sides by mu becomes y l x on واحد على mu x times the constant c plus the integral of mu x times f of x the dx. which is this one here is equal to c times mu 
plus 1 by mu times the integral of mu times the function above it. Mm -hmm. So you will see that in M. This is the final decision here. To find the solution for the standard form of linear equation dy by dx plus pxy is equal f of x, you have to compute to mu x, which is e to the power integral px. e to the power px dx. Then the general solution will be this one, which is we just derive it there. 1 by mu times c plus integral mu times f of x dx. And that's all. But first of all, before you're doing, you have to write it in its standard form, which is the coefficient of dy by dx. It is only 1. Before you start finding mu and the solution y. Mm -hmm. Is it clear, Anne, how we can solve the linear equation? Is it clear? طيب خلينا نبدأها. بيقول لي solve dy by dx minus three y is equal ستة. According to the standard form. Here we have a function px is equal minus 3, or well, function f of x is equal 7. So directly now find the mu x, which is e to the power integral px dx, which is e to the power integral p minus 3 with respect dx, which is e to the power minus 3x. And direct the solution y l x, it will be 1 by mu times c plus integral mu times f with respect dx, which is 1 by e to the power minus 3x times c plus integral mu, which is e minus 3x, f of x is 6 e to the power minus 3x the dx. Now integrate then multiplied by. So that becomes 1 by e to the power minus 3x. It is equal e to the power 3x times c plus. And integral the hadi. Ibaran city divided by minus. We see and then h minus city divided by minus 3 is minus 2. E minus 3x. Now, integral e to the power 3x becomes c, phi e to the power 3x, minus 2, phi e to the power 0. Therefore, the solution y is equal to constant c, phi e to the power 3x, minus 2. So that's the solution. A solution for the linear, it is very straightforward and very simple. Any question here? Type. Let us to solve this one. X P Y prime minus Y is equal X. Now you know that we have here a coefficient X multiplied by Y prime. So we have to write it in the standard form. Divide both sides by X. Becomes Y prime minus 4 by X times Y is equal X to the power set to E X. And X provided that X is not equal to 0. Because you cannot divide by something zero. Here, for now, it is written in the standard form, or just one more simplification step. Y prime minus four by x y is equal 
x to the power 5 bex. Here you have L p x is equal minus 4 by x will function f of x x to the power 5 e x. Type. L n find out mu the integrating factor of mu is equal to integral e to the power integral minus 4 على x dx which is e to the power minus 4 ln absolute x and that's equal e to the power ln absolute x to the power minus 4 which is equal x absolute to the power minus 4 which is equal 1 by absolute x to the power 4 which means 1 by x to the power 4 absolute because the power is even which is equal 1 by x to the power 4 so this is a mu now solution y is equal 1 by 1 by x to the power 4 times c plus the integral f of x times mu 1 by x to the power 4 times x to the power 5 bex the dx which is equal x to the power 4 times c plus integral x to the power 5 divided by x to the power 4 we have in x in ex which is x to the power 4 times c plus on x ex minus ex the whole integral the so solution y and simplify becomes c v x to the power four plus x to the power five e x minus x to the power four v e x. Now, is it clear this example? Any question about this example? طيب نشوف ال next example ال next example بيقول لنا solve x square minus 9 by dy على dx plus xy is equal 0 alright very simple now divide both side by x square minus 9 you will have the standard form dy by dx plus x by x square minus 9 times y is equal 0 by x square minus 9, which is here equal 0. So you will have px على x على x square minus 9 will apple x is equal 0. And find mu x. Mu x, what do you say? E to the power integral. X على x square minus 9 لدي x. طيب. مين بكامل لهذه? How we can integrate this one? What's the derivative of the denominator x square minus 9? What's the derivative of x square minus 9? It is 2x. This is becomes integral. But divide by 2, multiplied by 2, 2x على x square minus 9 the dx. Now becomes the numerator is the derivative of the denominator. 
e to the power half len absolute l x square minus 9. Five. <coughs> this is becomes e to the power len square root lil x square minus 9. All right, which is equal square root of x square minus 9. All right, this is a mu. Hada elhu and the mu. The solution in n y so wahad ala mu. which is the square root of x square minus 9 times c plus integral square root of x square minus 9 times 0 to dx lm lm 0 times the square root it is 0 the integral of 0 is a constant c with another constant c, it is still a constant c. So that becomes c divided by square root of x squared minus 9. Mm -hmm. Is it clear here? This is 0. The integral less 0, it is a constant, call it c1. c1 plus c, it's another constant c. واضح المثال هذا طيب I need all the students to try this example I will give you four minutes maximum to solve this initial value problem please all the students to try this one four minutes and I will ask uh, I will choose anyone to solve it
مين حل المسألة؟ طيب خلينا نشوف الآن أنا عم بشوف في الأول نايس But remember, you know, I have an initial condition, so we have to find the constancy. All right. First of all, I have to solve the differential equation dy by dx plus y is equal x. Here we have a function px. It is written in the standard form. px is equal 1, and the function f of x is equal x also. Find the mu. Mu x is about an e to the power integral p x dx, which is e integral one times dx, which is e to the power x. And the solution y is equal one by e to the power x times c plus integral mu times f, which is x times e x dx. And that becomes e to the power minus x times c plus x e x minus e x. This is y. And now simplify this becomes a c p e to the power minus x plus x minus one. So the final solution y is equal c e minus x plus x minus one. This is my solution. But I have y of 0 is equal 4. That means instead of each y replace 4, instead of each 0, x replaces c, uh, 0. So 4 is equal c times e to the power 0 plus 0 minus 1. And that is implies in 4 is equal c minus 1, which means c is equal 5. Now substitute 5 again in your solution here becomes y is equal 5. y is equal 5 times e minus x plus x minus 1. Mm -hmm. Because I have an initial condition, so I have to use it to find the constancy. Mm -hmm. Any question for this example? Let me show the next example. We will solve x plus y plus 1 times y prime is equal 0. Uh, it's equal, not 0. Sorry, this one here should be 1. Otherwise, the question has no meaning. Elam. <coughs> Elam. شوفوا عندي هون. This is a tricky question. How? Y prime, it is dy by dx. So, x plus y plus 1 times dy by dx is equal 1 implies that dy by dx, it becomes 1 by x plus y plus 1. But this is, this is not in the standard form. Not in the standard form. So I cannot use this technique. ما بقدر أنا أتعامل بهذا الأسلوب أو بهذه الطريقة. What I have to do now here? شو لازم أعمل أنا هون؟ مين يقول لي؟ Not in the standard form, so we cannot solve it. 
So we cannot solve it unless we assume x is the dependent variable. كيف يعني x is the dependent variable؟ يعني اعكسن make reciprocal for this one. I mean dx by dy is equal x plus y plus one. الآن x is a function of y x is a function of y in this case you will have dx by dy is equal x plus y plus 1 you will have dx by dy minus x is equal y plus 1 Therefore, here we will have p of y is equal minus 1 and the function f of y is equal to y plus 1. Now find the mu of y because here dx by dy. Mu of y becomes e to the power integral p of y, which is, uh, of course, dy, which is e to the power integral minus 1 times dy, which is e to the power minus y. And then, a solution, y, a solution x, but this here, I can tell you, 1 by mu of y times c plus integral mu of y times f of y dy. which is equal e to the power y because one by one divided by e to the power minus y it is e to the power y the c plus integral e to the power minus y times y plus one let dy and you have to integrate and multiply it so x is becomes e to the power y times c plus. An integral of y plus 1 e to the power minus y with respect to dy, this can be integrated easily and straightforward by using, uh, by using the uh, integration by parts, which is, which is minus of y plus 1 e to the power minus y minus e to the power minus y now simplify becomes e to the power y times c minus uh, so this one it can be done simplified more which is minus y plus 2 minus the y plus 1 to e to the power minus y minus e minus y when you multiply it becomes this one c to e to the power y minus y plus 1 minus 1 so you need more simplification c to e to the power y minus y minus 1 minus 1 to see minus that becomes minus 2 So solution here x of y becomes c if e to the power y minus y minus 2. I need you for the idea from this example that sometimes if you go back, if you go back here to the standard form, here you have y dependent variable. Will x ever on an independent variable to get it in this form but sometimes you cannot get it in this form directly so you can change or interchange between the independent and dependent variables like this one here 
when I change it to be in this form, it becomes what this one here. X is the dependent variable, and Y is the independent variable. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yes, the idea in the first step that you have to change the role of the dependent and independent variables. Mm -hmm. Any question for this example? طيب نشوف ال next example شوف ال next example طيب الآن بقول لي solve dy by dx minus 2xy is equal to الآن It is written in the standard form. Here, the function p x is equal minus two x, where the f of x is equal to. So it is directly now find the mu x becomes e to the power integral minus two x dx, which is e to the power minus x square. You need a solution while x is equal to one by e to the power minus x square times c plus integral mu. Which is e minus x square times two. Times two times dx. Type. El M. Can we integrate e to the power minus x square? Of course, this is becomes e to the power x square times c plus. Two times integral e minus x square la dx. So you will see that we cannot integrate e to the power minus x square. So I just here the solution y is equal multiplied becomes c p e to the power x square plus two times e x square integral e minus x square la dx, and that's all. And leave it in this form because this is has no <coughs> integration formula. <coughs> mm -hmm. Is it clear here of this example? I mean, in case you find that the integral is cannot be integrated, leave it as it is. Type. Let us to see that in case I have the function f of x is a piecewise differential, the piecewise function. In this case, what we get. الآن uh, in some mathematical models like in biology, engineering, physics, uh, or something, it could be happen that the function, the function f of x, it becomes here a piecewise function. الآن in this case, in case the function f of x is a piecewise function, I mean it has a different values for different intervals. Then this differential equation would be called piecewise linear differential equation. Piecewise linear differential equation. 
الان what we have to solve uh, what we have to do or how we can solve in case i have a piecewise function it is very simple that according to each interval you have to assume a different differential equation and solve it so have a look here he said solve dy by dx plus y is equal f of x but f of x is a piecewise and we have y of zero is equal one type number one you will take that dy you will take that uh, assume that x between 0 and 1 then for this interval a function f of x it is equal 1 only then your differential equation dy by dx becomes plus y is equal 1 but you have y of 0 is equal 0 this is the initial condition now you have to solve this one as a linear differential equation where mu x it will become integral e to the power 1 dx which is e x and the solution y but you say we uh, e to the power minus x times c plus integral f of x here 1 times e x la dx which is equal e minus x times c plus and integral la e x it is e x therefore y now becomes c times e minus x plus 1 but this is only for the interval x is greater than or equal zero is than or equal. Now notice that. لاحظوا إنه my initial condition y of zero is equal zero, which means this zero it is inside this interval. inside this interval so use y of 0 is equal 0 to find the constant c in my differential equation here so that becomes 0 is equal c e to the power minus 0 plus 1 which implies 0 is equal c plus 1 which implies c is equal minus 1. So this differential equation for this initial condition in this interval becomes y is equal uh, minus e minus x plus 1. Of course, this is for the interval only between 0 and 1. Now we just finish for the first interval. Now I have to do the same thing for the second interval. Then I have to say that, number two, if x is greater than zero, is it greater than one, sorry, not zero. If I cannot x is greater than one, then what's the function f of x equal, f of x is equal zero. So my differential equation becomes dy by dx plus y is equal how much? Zero. Now, mu x, about an e integral 1, the dx, which is e x, the solution y is how we e to the power minus x times c plus integral <coughs> 0 times e x, the dx. Hello, 0 times e x, 0. The integral is 0 constant. Constant plus a constant. So it's again a constant. So y is equal c divided by e to the power x or c v e minus x this is only when x is greater than one now what i have to do here what i have to do here a solution y becomes now piecewise because for each interval I have different solution. Here becomes 
1 minus e minus x when x is greater than 0, less than or equal. And c times e minus x where x is greater than 1. الآن الآن you will notice that between 0 and 1 I have a solution different from when x is greater than 1. Hala, how can, can we make my solution continuous? How I can make my, sol my solution continuous at 1? Who can tell me how I can make my solution here continuous at 1? Are you sure you studied calculus 1? How? Calculus 1. By using what? Hello, we assume that it should be a limit for while x, where x approaching 1 from the right to be equal, a limit for the same function y of x, where x approach to 1 from the left. x is greater than 1. This is from the right, and this is from the left. From the right, what's the limit of y of x? It is equal to the limit of c, p, e to the power minus x, where x approach to 1 from the right. It should be the limit of the left, uh, the left, which is 1 minus e minus x, where x approach to 1 from the left. And you will see that when you take a limit here, it becomes c times e to the power minus 1 is equal 1 minus e to the power minus 1. And multiplied both sides by E, you will get the value of C. The value of C is equal E minus 1. How? Just multiply this equation here by E, both sides. So the constant C, just go back and substitute it here. you will get a continuous solution at the value x is equal to 1. Okay. Is it clear here? واضح المثال هذا. So just to be more clear, here we can just add it, the constant C. The solution Y becomes now about 1 minus E minus X, where X between 0 and 1, and E minus 1 times E minus X. where x is greater than 1. This makes my solution continuous. Which is continuous solution. Mm -hmm. 
I'll just clear here. Any question here? طيب to give you example to try to solve it all right i will give you an example Can you solve this example? But the الطلاب تعملوا لي تراي لهذا الاجزامبل. All right, I will give you five minutes to try this example, please. Okay. No other students, I need you to try this one. This is a nice example. يلا يا عبد الغني تنشوف الله أكبر الله أكبر دائما وأبدا لا إله إلا الله ولا حول ولا قوة إلا مين حل السؤال؟ مين طلع معه حل؟
مين بده يحل السؤال؟ I will wait just one more minute. شو رأيكم نبدأ الحل عشان نأخذ كمان مثال إضافي تحاولوا فيه طيب اوكي خلينا نحل المثال هذا اول شيء عندي كوزين بلس واي برايم دايم زاي برايم بلس ساين في واي از ايكوال سيكند بدنا نعمل ستاندرد فورم هون بدنا نروح نقسم بصير معنا دي واي باي دي اكس بلس ساين على كوزين اللي هو تان في واي از ايكوال سيكند ديفايد باي كوزين بصير معنا سيكند سكوير الاكس الآن it's clear now I have to find the mu ال x عبارة عن e to the power integral tan ال x ل d x which is e to the power شو الانتجرال ال tan يلا مين انتجرال ال tan minus ln of يلا لنشوف Minus ln cosine. Oi sawi e to the power ln of cosine x to the power minus واحد واللي هي عبارة عن إيش واحد على cosine the x واللي هي secant the x. طيب الآن ال y بدأ تساوي سيكنت واحد على سيكنت الاكس تايم سي بلس انتجرال ميو اللي هي سيكنت تايمز 
f of x, which is secant c square, is x to the dx. Secant to secant square is secant to the power. We see that one one على secant times c plus integral the secant. على secant square. كم نقدر نكمل secant square? Uh, secant to the power 3. Meaning, we can camel secant to the power 3. Yalla. Secant to the power 3. Meaning, we can camel From calculus 1. Uh, we can take uh, uh, plus one. Okay. We can take the identity of second um, in form of tan, and then uh, we can uh, second square with the zero minus one plus tan square. Oh uh, yes, this one. So for integral uh, secant to the power 3x dx, this is becomes واحد على secant x times c plus. An integral of secant to the power 3 عبارة عن secant times Ten divide by one uh, divide by two. Sorry, uh, plus واحد على اثنين في تكامل السيكنت واللي هي مين لين سيكنت الx plus tan الx. الآن we have to multiply it becomes c واحد على سيكنت اللي هي كوزين plus سيكنت divide by one سيكنت بيروح بضل معنا مين half تان ال x plus h half كوزين ال x فيلين absolute Secant plus ten. So this is the solution. In case we have, in case we have y of pi as an initial condition, let us to add the initial condition y of pi is equal to. That means to solve this one becomes 2 is equal to C cosine pi plus half tan pi uh, plus half cosine pi fill in secant pi plus Tan pi. This is just uh, cosine pi with the shell minus one. Tan pi, come tan pi, we sign pi ala cosine pi, which is zero. And secant pi is equal one. Uh, secant pi minus one. Absolute lel minus one one. Then the one, so the total value will be zero. وبيبقى معانا هنا 2 is equal c times minus 1 that c is equal how much minus 2 tan of pi بتساوي 0 secant of pi بصير minus 1 len absolute minus 1 بيعطيني 0 times anything بيعطي 0 
Any question? Okay, that's enough for today. We just have one minute to take attendance.